There we go. Uh, yo, oh my gosh, you guys, with these the back to back seven month subs. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you for the host, Mark. Oh man. Yeah, I guess it has been seven months. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, it's over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. Oh, how's everyone doing tonight? What's shaking? What's new? Oh my god! I'm just gonna keep at this, eh? Airstrike. Wonder if that's any good. So that costs six bucks. Uh, so I guess all the stuff that costs like six bucks, I'm just gonna pick up. I didn't press start there. I don't know why my game just paused. You good? Just uh, batching out some goblins. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh yeah, Mark. Right, right, right. Yeah, the, uh, the new commands. Okay, that is that is at the. The top of my priority list now. I'm on it. I don't think that the pause menu is supposed to do that. Uh, real story, bro. Oh wait, it it stopped being the active window for a sec. Hmm. Rush to see if they were at it. Yeah. Well, I unplugged the other controller. Actual fun. All right. Well, that's fine. Whatever. You know. Uh, between an input happening that I didn't enter and then the window not being the active one, that's a little off-putting, but. Eh, you know. Let's do it. Let's beat this game. What do you guys say? I'm actually... I'm really looking forward to playing some Resident Evil Village. That's like... It's exciting. Alright. My phone... I forgot to plug it in. Rip. Alright. Um... Mailbox, 38 Special, or Blunderbuss. Have I used the 38 Special? It's called the Inquisitive. It's item of choice for investigative efforts. Okay. Uh, another gun, I guess. Sick. Yeah, what's, what's going on with everybody? How was the... Uh... No, no, I'm not taking a hit off of the first enemy I fucking face. Um, <laughs> hey, it's the same options. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, how was the, uh, how was the phallic game there? I forget its name already. I've seen a little bit of gameplay from it before, but... A lot of traps in that there room. Love it. I love that this room's just full of dudes with sniper rifles, because I feel like they're actually really easy to do. Oh, this fucking Iron Maiden again. Oh, that was close. Oh. Dude, it's so brutal. It's like, it, it shoots bullshit in every direction. That's hard enough. But then every single one of them turns toward you and they all head toward the... They, they just converge on where you're standing. Fucking hardcore. 
Um... Okay, no secret door in this room. Glass cannon, eh? Glass cannon, some keys. Ice bomb. Alright, fairly normal shit in here. Alright, genital jousting. It was fun, but it started to get all laggy and the controls kept changing from D-pad to analog for me at random. Oh, weird. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, that's funky, because I just had, like, two strange inputs on the game I'm playing. Maybe it's, like, a Steam issue right now or something. I don't know. Ooh, that was fucking close. Man, I forget how fast a projectile is traveling in this game. From, you know, enemies that aren't those guys that shoot really slowly. Oh, this game's fucking... Another one of these motherfuckers. Oh, you dickass. This one was even being buffed by one of those little lizard dudes. Oh my god. Fuck this room, man. Those Iron Maidens are the worst enemy in this game, in my opinion. Uh, video unavailable. Vertical Horizon. Everything you want will not play. Oh, I know this song. I dig this, this tune. <laughs> Shop skip. Same thing, right? Life. I always enjoyed having to tape multiple cars together to fit all the kids. <laughs> um, that's funny. Of all the sort of um, like pastime board games, like you know, kind of meant for for kids and families and shit, uh, I would say Life is probably my favorite as well. Actually, I thought it had really really cool mechanics. I, I liked the uh, concept. I think just in general, it's probably one of the best of those that that era. Uh, of game. What would you say is the worst, and why is it Monopoly? Oh, what the fuck? Ah, I didn't notice something creeping up on me. Oh, dude, as soon as I get hit, it just breaks my stride so hard, it, it, it throws everything off, and I, I... One hit leads to, like, three before I know it. it sucks. I haven't played many literal board games, but Scattergories is my fave. Scattergories, that's the one... That's like a party game, right? Kind of like, um... Uh, uh... Oh. Charades. Isn't it? Actually, is Risk. Risk is a pretty shitty one, too, actually. That's another one where it's just like a, a, a win more, lose more kind of game. Like, the core mechanic of the game is that if you are losing, then you will continue to lose. And, you know, vice versa. If you're winning, you'll, you'll continue to win. Yeah, those are... those are... Like, truly, literally just bad design. They are... they are... Uh... Poorly designed game. Back from before people, like... Demanded fucking balance in their games. But Monopoly is the worst. Not even a tolerable game with a fucking. Um. Like house rules and stuff. Hey, more health, sick. Stock ticker was really another really bad game. I've never heard of that one. 
Monopoly's a great game for lampooning capitalism. It is super unbalanced toward the richest player. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, that scotch. was its intent. Scotch is got scotch. Here it goes down. <laughs> down into my belly. Scotch fingers, eh? Uh, maybe I should have something to sip on. What do you guys think? What's the... the what's the drink of choice? Okay, no secret doors in this one. I, th I, I, uh, I believe it appears. I'm trying to say I believe and it appears at the same time, and I, I tripped over my words there. Uh, the songs aren't auto playing. Hmm, that's weird. Hang on, I'm actually I'm gonna refresh this website and see if that helps. The 12 year old. Okay. Oh, shit. The Jura. 12 year old. Unopened. This will be my first sippy. First sipperoo. Very nice. Um, that should, that'll be fine. Even got a little um, little pull tab. Make opening it that much easier. Oh, I love I love when they do something to make it just a little easier for you, you know? Making it a little easier to get into your new product. Oh. There we go. Hmm, it smells really nice. It's got a real uh, deep, rich color. <laughs> Wait, is it? Yeah, it's it's reversing which way my head is tilted. Huh. Hmm. It's good. It's really good. Uh, whiskey. Single malt scotch. Hmm. Let me just, uh... Mm-hmm. That's good. Oh my god, it spiraled around the table? Oh, you little punk-ass bitch. just hiding behind the table to be lazy. Didn't expect it to betray me. Alright. Finished a room. Take a drink. Hmm. Hmm. This is the worst kind of treasure chest. Do I open it anyway? Do I go buy a key and open it? Or do I just destroy it? I think destroy it is the thing to do. Yeah, fuck it. Let's toast this thing. Get some junk. There's a small chance that junk is going to be a companion each time. Oh shit! Oh, this is a floor that's got a 
another NPC in it that I can unlock. Ooh, shit. I, okay. The stakes have raised. I really, really don't want to lose against the boss here. All right, so before we head into the bowels, was uh, what are we gonna do? Get a. There's really nothing here but keys, so yeah. Guess I'll just get a key for moving forward. It doesn't really help me with a fight, but 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 nothing. It doesn't really help me with a fight. Okay, so we're gonna use a Winchester rifle. I think that's our best option. Modified shotgun, been retrofitted for one-handed use. Okay. Hmm. It looks like I'm going to have to press play or type exclamation mark play at the start of every song. Um, I don't know why. That's new. Oh, the Medusa. Okay. <laughs> The gore gun, that's right. Cursed gun witch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Aha, you gotta look away during that wave. That's such a cool mechanic. Like having to like legitimately turn away. It's funky because you're having to like use the other stick th from what you would normally use. That's cool. Okay, so that's the key to unlock the door, the next area. Uh, what's this boomerang? Usually comes back as its description. Boomerangs predate gun technology, but can still be useful in a pinch. A good throw is quite stunning. Oh, so it stuns enemies, I guess? Alright, well, fuck it. I'll call in my ammo drop and I'll, and I'll keep this. And then the master round is also uh, useful. Uh, the master round is a... Uh, an extra heart. So it's like one more health. Huge. Alright. Oh ho, a young knave has rescued us from our confinement. How unexpected and amusing. Good show, young slinger. We are certain that we shall see thee soon. Cometh along, man Cervantes. Return to thy quest, young slinger. We will findeth our way to the breach. Okay. So stoked about D&D. Yeah, dude, me too. Um, yeah, I was really uh, stoked about the other uh, group that I'm running a D&D campaign with. Um, uh, one of them, Jen, joined like three sessions deep. And so I was able to add her into the campaign, like, at a different location, which was kind of cool. Like, it was kind of actually neat figuring out a cool backstory to add players, like, into the campaign later, you know? Um, yeah, it was kind of cool. Hey, I got stats. What's shaking, man? How are you this fine evening? You ever beat this? No. No, I haven't. Uh, at this point, um, I'm playing it, like, totally blind. This is my first time ever playing it. Um, uh, not today, but just in general. The fact that I've been streaming it lately for the last couple weeks or whatever. Um, and so I've only ever made it to the fourth floor boss. Uh, who's always just kicked my ass. I've only made it to the second chamber. Oh shit, dude. So much to do. There really is. It's kind of nuts. Oh Christ, he got too close. I couldn't I couldn't squeeze past him. Ah, 
That sucks. Taking hits I don't need to. The worst. You at ghost. I'm guessing you can't poison a ghost. Ooh. Tomorrow we need to read up on various beasts. Yeah, totally. That's a thing. Um yeah, I would use just ones from like the main books. Like I wouldn't bother delving into adventure books, you know? Um like Tomb of Annihilation, I'm sure has a lot of beasts and stuff, but they're so specific to Chult, which is like a really um, specific continent and stuff. So I would just use the ones from like core books. Fourth floor. Yeah, I think there's five or six or something though in total. Oh shit, you little keymonger. Holy Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. The, like, spores really threw me off there. Oh, you penis. <laughs> this thing just spans in every direction. Oh. All right, all right, not too bad. Yeah, there's so many little secrets and shit like that, you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, oh goddamn. Uh, yo, Necron Nate, how you doing? Um, what is happening? What is that? What is that thing? Like, ah, it's got some sort of weird little aura. It's like it's a, it's counting on all the other dudes to to do the shooting while it just. Whoa! I see. Okay. Penis. Ah! Fuck off, Cthulhu! You... Jesus. Not too bad. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, the little one took a long time to put down tonight. Um, so that was, you know, meant that I kind of ended up starting later than I usually do, or usually like to. Whoa, Jesus. Thanks, turtles. That'll make this platforming a lot easier. Ah. There we go. Easy every time. Is it possible to get my character to get some character sheets to control for wild shape uh, or do I just need to add all the abilities to my own or just roll manual all the time? Okay, so on the roll 20 or in the roll 20 campaign, uh, I will add a bunch of uh, creatures that you will be able to see and, and borrow. Oh, oh, a red enemy. Those are those are like special. I forget what that means. That's like they're, they they do extra damage, I think, or something. Like double damage, maybe it is. Oof. <laughs> no problem. Just say the word. I miss roll twenty. I uh, every time I log onto it, it says like how many hours I've spent on it. I'm up to more than eighteen hundred at this point. Huntsman, axes of evil. Reload for momentary safety. A misbegotten attempt to combine melee and ranged combat. The axe portion of this gun is mostly worthless. Reloading it involves swinging the blade around wildly, which might protect you from a stray bullet. Oh, when you reload, it knocks a bullet away. That's cool. That's a really neat mechanic, actually. Okay, no secret door in this room, I don't think. They're usually in treasure rooms, and you can see them when you use a gun that requires ammo. Last time I remember I was at 1350-ish. Recently I've started using Foundry. Yeah, I've heard good things about Foundry. I just feel like, at this point, like the sunk cost of, of just how much I've been using Roll20, I just like, I don't know. I don't really want to learn something new, you know? 
Uh, and I've got so many scripts for Roll20, um, so that I have access to, like, all of the, uh, especially useful features, like, um... Oh, it goes to the direction you're running in. That's why it always fucks me up so bad. Oh. I was like, how did it hit me? I was going, I was like moving so fast. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, Foundry, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued, but I would like really want to try it before I went and committed to like buying it. Because I'm, I'm just so cheap, basically. That's what it boils down to. I'm a, I'm a cheap motherfucker. Let's jump over to the uh, Stream Raiders battle. Show you it sometime if you like. Uh, sure, that'd be sick. Yeah, you could like show it to me on Discord or something. That'd be really cool. Nothing wrong with cheap? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Better 20s no longer being developed. They're putting all effort into the Platinum plugin on Foundry. Um, yeah, I've heard. I've heard everyone's moving over to Foundry. It makes me sad because I've used Roll20 so much. And like, I don't know. Can you do animated maps on Foundry? I'm guessing you can do all the stuff on Foundry that you can do on Roll20. So, I mean, I, I do like animated maps and, and mass import of uh monsters and and stuff like that and maps from like um uh for the different campaigns that i run where the fuck is the berserker there it is um there we go Yeah, I could totally check it out. I mean, Better 20 isn't being developed anymore, but it's like, it's there. It's got everything I need. I, although I guess if Roll20 changes enough, then like eventually it won't be compatible, I suppose, is the, the fear. Um, yeah. Foundry runs off your own files, so if you have the maps and such on your PC, it's easy to swap them on to Foundry. Whoa, Jesus, walking through a door and having an enemy right there is scary. Um, okay, well, so I guess, I don't know, as long as, as long as 5e tools still lets me, you know, uh, not have to pay for paid features, I'm, I'm happy. Dude, this is fucked, this room is, uh, there's too much going on. There's too much. This sucks. This is the end of my run. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm being chased, but also, uh, there's two different enemies who are firing concentric fucking circles of bullets. That room beat the shit out of me. Oof. Oh, that one sucked. That one sucked a lot. I knew there'd be a secret door in here. Armor, eh? Oh shit! No, I wasn't gonna pick it up. I was like standing over it to decide whether I wanted to pick it up. But then it just happened. Oof. Ammo. Shit, I'm all full. A rat's gonna come and steal it from me. I know it. You are. Get out of here. Ram. My ammo. Foundry comes with pretty much everything you have to pay for on Roll20 and more. Damn. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's going be something to get into. <laughs> Whoa. Dynamite's fucking so explosive. Um, yeah, maybe it's time to move over to Foundry. Does every player need Foundry, or how does that work? Can players just connect to a URL or something? I didn't notice which one was the fucking real one. Oh 
Okay, that one. For 800 add-ons you can install for pretty much whatever system to customize your games even more. And no, only the DM slash host. The players connect via an invite link. Okay, so there is basically like an online component, I guess. Damn, I can't get to the shop. It's one way only. I gotta work my way there. Oh. Game stresses me out. Oh, you're still alive. Thanks, man. Uh, maybe I'll just grab a half heart just for a little bit of extra HP. Dude, 128 bucks for a box. And you literally can't buy a loot bag. That's crazy. Um... Hang on a second. Let me see. Why is this not auto playing? There's got to be settings, auto play media. I mean, I toggled it off and back on. We'll see if maybe that does it. Now it's muted, and I can't change that. What is going on? What is going on with my computer right now? A couple of weird things happened. The game paused itself without me pressing start. The active window changed with me uh, without me interacting with it. I don't have a second controller plugged into my computer, so it can't be that a controller is sitting on the ground and having inputs entered. Hmm. Something's up. Great modules or integrations for World Anvil and DMD Beyond. I mean, I'm just about to start a new campaign, so I don't really want to switch away now, but. That's so fucking weird. I'm clicking the, the unmute button on YouTube, and then after about a second and a half, it mutes. Hmm. So strange. These are all issues I've never seen before. All right, Let's try this once more. <laughs> we'll begin with the uh, with the song request. I'm shocked. Um, so you're saying like Foundry? A couple of great modules. Or integrations for World Animal and D&D Beyond. Right, right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I find... Well, D&D Beyond doesn't interest me at all because you have to individually buy every single piece, like, of, you know, everything. So, you know, for you to have, like, access to all the races and classes and stuff on D&D Beyond would be, uh, like, thousands of dollars. Um, so I'm not really into that. Uh, I'm not familiar with World Anvil... Uh, offhand, though. I feel like I've heard of it. But, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, boss time. Fuck, uh, we're not at 100%. But we have some hit points. Oh, shit. And I think this is the hardest boss. The Mine Flayer. Um, I've encountered this guy a couple times and been told that he's, like, incredibly challenging. Shit, his shots were too close together. Oh, 
Oh, mine flare. I thought it was because he was in the mines. Like, that's the floor that we're in, is the mines. But it's like mine flare, like, like, um, claymores. Holy shit! Oh, I was looking at my ammo. Oh! I'm one shot from death. And he's so close. Shit. What? That's insane, dude. The bullets are too close together. You can't move between them. And yet he shoots them consecutively, so you can't dodge them either. I truly don't know what I'm supposed to do there. That was fucked. Oof. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna get there. Commando. So this guy just keeps replenishing his stuff all the time. Wonder where she got that helmet. Sure is fine. Wonder who he's talking about. Oh, hey. Hello again. Doug's Traveling Emporium is back. Get a load of my quality wares. If you don't see me, kill some time in the gungeon. I'll roll back by eventually. Push on. Oh, so he's got, like, really expensive wares. And he's only here sometimes, apparently. Well, shit. I wish I knew. When I started today, I had, uh... Like, 19... I don't know, whatever. 19 currency. And I could have bought both the things that this guy is selling. Where's the other person I saved? Here it is. Young Slinger. Within this wall of flesh, there is a soul that counts thee its creditor. Once rested, we will explore the gungeon anew. Findeth us, and we may findeth our interests entwined. Now let us rest. Okay, so this is someone who I'm supposed to encounter in the gungeon, I guess? You're eating a lot of the mines is a problem? You would have survived if you've eaten, like, three fewer? Maybe. Maybe. The only way to fire them off is to move within their uh, radius and then leap out of the way before they blow up. You can't even shoot them. Then you'll see the game differently and the bullets will be slow to you. Maybe. Sure enough, yeah, it's not auto-playing, even though I have auto-play enabled. Hmm. This is so weird. I mean, it's just on a website that is basically like... There's just a button I can press that says, like, you know, play music, basically. There's no there's no settings to change. Uh, I guess I'll grab the 38 special. Close and reopen the browser? Mm, that might be it. That sucks, because I've got, like, um, five, uh, streams open. <laughs> and, uh... And a bunch of stuff I'm researching for my campaign. Ah, fuck it. Do it. A fresh start. A new start, as Tobias would say. Or anus tart, as everyone else would see. Alright, we'll see if it autoplays after this point. Oh, sick, it's muted itself. Again. Okay, fucking refresh again. Fucking weird. Task manager to close it, then when it opens, it'll restore. Eh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to see Foundry before uh, buying it, let me know. I can shoot an invite link over to you and show you around. Yeah, that'd be sick, actually. That'd be really cool. I'd appreciate that. Those grenades are really sketchy, because when you aim at an enemy, like, let's say I'm, like, running upward and want to aim downward. This, above me, there's so little space that sometimes when enemies spawn 
partway through a room, you won't see if like a, like one of those little suicide bomber grenade dudes is running from above you. So that's like those they've hit me a lot, uh, just because you know when you're aiming up or down, your visibility decreases to almost nothing. What system are you doing for your upcoming campaign? Oh, fifth edition. Fifth edition is basically all I play these days. I uh, I do um, like other game systems, um, but. Uh, they're just complicated, right? Like Shadowrun, it's one of my favorite game systems of all time, and it's it's uh, it's kind of complicated for for new folks. So for anyone really, especially if you're trying to like do things like you know decking, like just take advantage of all the things that the game has to offer. Oh, you're still alive. All right, this weird little dude. Potion of gun friendship. Potion of lead skin. Mega dowser. Um, yeah, I mean, keys are pretty much all I'm going to be buying in these first rooms. I don't know. Hey, Santoso, what's shaking? The only DM I know that plays 5e all the others are doing just about anything else uh like what what games uh like presumably you're not talking older editions of DD um but rather uh entirely different game systems whoa um the dresden files is a is a game system i really like uh and a book series i, I enjoy fuck me man Oh, there's just too many little assholes chasing me. Get out of here! You're not welcome! God damn. Shadowrun and some indie systems I know nothing about. Yeah, I wish Shadowrun, um... was, like... uh... like, playable as like an, a full game system. Yo, Fire Toy, appreciate the raid. How's it going? My favorite will always be 3.5. The Dresden Vows is one of my favorite book series. Didn't even know there was a game system. Yeah, it's great. It uses the fate system. It's excellent. Um, it's very, very story driven. So it's it's really, uh, uh, it leans heavily on um, uh, like, collaborative world building and storytelling um essentially fifth edition borrowed the concept of inspiration from the fate systems fate system um and uh which is one of my favorite things about fifth edition i love that it's like they've taken the best parts of older DD and then they've uh they've just added stuff from better game systems um to make it good, like they've just cannibalized all these really good things. Yeah, it's not autoplaying, it refuses to autoplay even when restarting the browser. I don't know, that sucks. Yeah, it's been a minute. What's shaking, Fire Toy? Yeah, Shadowrun, I love Shadowrun is probably my favorite game universe, uh, like my favorite sort of um setting that exists, uh, in terms of like lore and uh. And it also happens to be uh, a game where the way that each individual system works is completely unique. So it'd be like, for example, if you had um, in in D and D, like each spellcaster used a different set of rules for their class, like. Like, wizards use spell slots, but then other characters use just completely different things. Um, it's like every single aspect of Shadowrun's game system is different from every other aspect. So, yeah, I find that that makes it very, very challenging to get people into and to even just play. Because as the DM, you have to know how 
decking works and how rigging works and how magic works and how uh, adepts work and and uh, rules for everything else, cyberware, uh, and they all use different rules. It's a fucking serious pain in the ass, uh, which sucks because I, I just I love it. I love it so much. But I have to, like, reteach myself the game each time I start playing it. Like, oh, fuck, how does spellcasting work again? I've got to, like, read through all the chapters regarding spellcasting. It's like, well, are you a fucking hermetic mage or are you a shamanic mage? Or are you a physical adept? Okay, hang on, I'll read that chapter. Ugh. Been busy with life, going steady, got my PS5 and started streaming again. Actually excited to play games again. That's awesome. Uh, how are you liking Miles Morales? I really enjoyed the, the last Spider-Man game, but I haven't played Miles Morales. It looked, I saw some people playing it. It looked basically the same, like a DLC. Which is neat, but nigh unplayable. Yeah, so that's why, like, my favorite campaign of Shadowrun I've ever played. The DM forced everyone, he was like, everyone is going to be an elf and is going to be magically awakened. And that forces you in character creation to do a bunch of specific stuff that makes it so that A, we're, no one has to learn how decking or rigging or cyberware are going to work. Uh, and B, it makes it so that there's like this built-in cohesion and it's you know that's what the story is built for it's like the story is about this group of elves from Tirnanog from uh basically a, a, a magic uh sort of society that has taken over a chunk of Ireland as a dm you lost me halfway through that <laughs> which which part the uh the the fucking the mage concept i love the first spider-man game this one's very similar if you've watched into the spider-verse or read the comics i'm assuming the two are similar miles has extra powers like invisibility and electricity cool um yeah that sounds sick i uh i like the idea of uh adding more and more abilities to spider-man i mean why not I need one more point of armor. So right now I have two points of armor. If I can gain a third without getting hit a single time, then I can unlock this elevator. Oh, it's on the next level. Oh, okay, so I can still get to the next level, but I have to not get hit. Fuck me, it's gonna be hard. Um, yeah, I guess I just won't do song requests today because it's going to stop after every single song. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna listen to in-game music like a scrub. I'm gonna lurk starving right now. Yeah, sounds good. Make some food. Appreciate you swinging in, saying hi. So I need to beat the boss without getting hit and gain another point of armor. Both of those are fucking tall orders. Whoa, a boss chest. Holy shit. Whoa. Vulcan cannon. Boundless slaughter. Favored by the huge predatory bird that nests in the gungeon. It is a weapon to be feared. Wow, I'm going to use that against the boss. Goddamn. It's fucking awesome. third point of armor. Now I need to make it down to the... <laughs> oh my god, okay, so I have to beat the boss without getting hit. If I can beat the boss without getting hit, then that's it. That's the last prerequisite, because I'm going to go down the elevator, and I can immediately hand all three of these points of armor to the person that's going to let me immediately skip to the third level every time, instead of having to do the second level. Oh, it's not likely with this boss that I'm going to be able to pull it off without getting hit.
Oh my god. That was so fucking sketchy, being stuck against the wall like that. A fourth point of armor. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, anything worth buying? Another key, maybe? Grab another weapon. I don't, I don't really know what a bottle is. Potion of gun friendship. Potion of lead skin. Uh, I think I'll just grab another key. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Yo, take the fort. I'm shaking. Well, this is huge. This is huge. I can now hand this fucking... Hand this over to the... Chamber 3 elevator, dude. I'm so glad I found that gun. That helped me massively. Did so much damage. I see you have the 3 armor. Can I have them to reinforce the elevator shaft? Here you go. Thanks, this thing will be rock solid in no time. I'll go and start working. That's the shaft taken care of, but now I need to order more parts. Can you bring me 180 bucks and four keys? Ugh. Fine, I'll give him this thing. This must have been very, very hard to get. I'll go install it. I need 180 bucks. I have the four keys, so now I just need the money. Damn, I... Yeah, alright. Alright, so don't spend any money. I just need to rack it up. Keep needing more and more things, I guess. Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, let's top up my ammo and get going. Um, if I can get, if, if this floor happens to spawn the, uh, person who sometimes shows up in stores and buys, an, um, items off of you. Oh no, it's this room. Shit. Oh, you absolute dickholes. Oh, it's such a brutal combination. Enemies that chase you around and ones that just spam huge AoEs of, of bullets are a rough fucking combo to deal with. Oh, you fucking... I didn't show up in time to see which of these is the real one. I think it's this way. Chewing through bullets and missing a lot. Shit, I should have switched my gun sooner there. Ah, whatever. Okay, uh, if I use a key here, um, then it could be. Uh, could be a waste. No secret door in there that I can find. I need four keys and 180 bucks. I'm probably not going to get 180 bucks, so if I can't, I'll just go back and, and just spend this fucking cash, but... This feels like a room that could easily have a secret door in it, because it's a dead end. Weird.
Yo, hey, Jammy yes. Whammy. We got glass shard. To what is happening? Safe. It's wicked. <laughs> Welcome it's, in, Raiders. It's wicked, Jack. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, who fruit at? How you doing this evening? Uh, dude, Jeff, it's good to see you. Uh, who else is around? Lazu God, welcome to the stream. Uh, what is shaking one and all? We are in the midst of a little bit of uh, Enter the Gungeon. Uh, and we're also doing uh, Stream Raiders Battle. If anybody uh, plays Stream Raiders. Uh, I'm Kermit the Frog here. Uh, welcome in one and all. It's always good to have some new people here. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, this is... Uh, this is a fun little uh, stream mini game called uh, called Stream Raiders. Um, I uh, I'm an affiliate in it, so I even have these uh, these fun little units like this this tank here. Oh my goodness, Yammy Whammy with the gifted tier two sub to Jeff. Thank you so much. Wow, I really appreciate that. Oh, max power. Thank you so much for the follow. Rocks. Welcome to the stream. What is a man, Thank Jeff? A miserable little pile of secrets! Sub right back. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You guys are too kind. So much support. Oh. Rocks! Orgoth with the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, I appreciate that, y'all. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Oh my goodness, uh, Renar Zero, thank you for the follow, holy. Rocks! Uh, so much friggin' support going on, uh, that's amazing. What a, what a mighty raid. Um, usually I have some, uh, some music going, song requests playing, however today, uh, they're kinda screwing up on me for some reason, they're not working, so, I don't know what to do about that. Um, yeah, if you want to get on, in on the Stream Raiders game, by all means, you can you can click on that uh, URL there. Uh, otherwise, um... oh geez, what are these dudes even doing? Ah, they oh jam it! I got hit. Oh my god, I got hit twice. I can't see anything. <laughs> Old man JJ, thank you for the follow as well. I really oh oh, I really appreciate that. I see. I see. They they explode, uh, and then shoot additional shots. God damn! Holy jeez! Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Oh my gosh! Wait, if I leave, music again. Oh, God damn. That's a good Kermit. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um. Yeah, I, I added the uh, the Kermit Redemption uh, before I knew that I could do uh, a Kermit, and so I, you know, I just decided to commit at one point. Um, <laughs> scrolling through chat is also toggling my weapons. Yeah, jammy raid. Well, I really appreciate it. that. Was a that was a mighty mighty raid. Um, yeah, the. Uh, Usually I've got song requests going on, um, which uh, are a lot of fun because, you know, due to the DMCA thing, uh, most streams don't do uh, song requests these days. Um, but we've still got a bunch of other things, channel point redemptions and um, stream raiders and stuff like that. Uh, all the avatars at the bottom of the screen, uh, you can, like, change your avatar or, or control them, do different mini games, duel people, so lots of different kind of interactive uh, aspects of the stream. Uh, right now we're playing Enter the Gungeon. However, I think uh, this, by the end of this week, I think maybe Saturday, um, when October officially begins, I'm going to try and just play, I think just horror games for, for the month of October. Um, I found my heart rate monitor, so I'm going to get that set up, and um, Resident Evil Village is going to be the first one we play. That's uh, a channel point redemption. Someone spent like 150,000 channel points for me to uh, play RE Village next. And then, um, I don't know, and then I'll just do some polls on the Discord, see what people like. Uh, what's the furthest you made it? Um, I have... 
Have I beaten the fourth floor boss? No, I've just I've made it to the boss of the fourth floor a few times, and I, I haven't beaten that, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, yeah, how's uh, how's everyone doing this evening? I, I am really enjoying this game. This was a uh, um, Fluffy Bunny uh, redeemed the Channel Point Redemption to get me to play this. Um, and it's been on my backlog for a while. It's a game that I'm, I'm interested in, certainly. Um, I do like roguelikes. Uh, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting just how challenging it was going to be. It's, like, a really hard game. Um, so, I don't know. It's been a lot of fun, but it is not easy, that's for sure. Oh, you little penis. Boy, I'm really taking a beating all of a sudden. My, uh... My focus is waning. Right now what I'm trying to do is um, unlock... There's a dude who... Uh... Hey, sweetie. There is a, uh, a dude in the elevator shaft in this game. And his whole thing is that, like, if you bring him all kinds of rare items and money and keys and shit like that... He will uh, open up the ability to like um, skip floors of the dungeon, and so I just managed to bring him three pieces of armor, which is kind of challenging because if you get hit, it uses your armor before anything else. Um, and now he wants 180 bucks and four keys. I happen to have enough keys, but I don't think that it will be possible for me to earn 180 dollars on the, this floor of the dungeon. Um, so, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I gotta head off to bed, but I hope you have a great rest of your stream. Yeah, cheers, Jemmy. Uh, thank you. And, yeah, thank you so much for the, for the big old raid. I, I really appreciate those folks from, uh, from, from Jemmy's, uh, community who, uh, who decided to, I don't know, hang out and, and follow, lurk, you know, just chill in general. Uh, thank you both for those, uh, for those, those subs. That's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, fuck. These minecarts, I hate them. Oh, I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm getting so many keys. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna open up this treasure chest then. I'm getting all these keys to open them with, so... Alright, what is this? Airstrike. Floor 5 elevator unlocks a key 47. Pretty OP. Unlocks a key for like as in you have to pay 47 keys to, to open it? I'm not sure what you mean. There is a chain of missile strikes. Only the most daring pilots will fly low enough to enter the gungeon. So the airstrike, is that something that uh, is reusable? I never know if an item's reusable or not. I was swimming where bubbles blown to tiny turtles named Tim do front floats. Uh, yes, it was a it was a fun time. Um, I went to the swimming pool with a little one today with our, our little adorable uh, uh, two and a half year old um, daughter, and she absolutely loves swimming. Going to the pool especially. Um, she really had a lot of fun when she was doing swimming lessons, and uh, and so we're just trying to like kind of keep in the habit of going to the pool fairly often, playing little games and stuff with her. Yeah, the little pebble. Um, when she first started swimming lessons, she was unwilling to put her uh, face in the water at all. Um, even just to like blow little bubbles. So getting her to blow bubbles in the water has been a real, a real hurdle. That's been a, it's been a big milestone. Um, and she did not today blow any bubbles, but she has gotten to the point where she is willing and able to blow bubbles now and then in the water. So she's willing to get her, her face up to, up to this point wet. And that's about it.
like AK-47, but it shoots keys. But it's 500 rounds, 500 free keys when you find it. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. What a wild weapon. Holy shit. Uh, we went to uh, the, the, the new one that we had not gone to before. the name of it on stream right now uh yeah i like this it's fine it's a good swimming pool yeah there's there's a, a lot of shit going on there oh jesus that was a little intense Yeah, um, there was like a few other kids who were cool as well, so that was kind of fun for her, um, but she didn't really interact with them much. All the kids are kind of shy. What are you listening to? Put in headphones. Um, sick. We found the shop. Oh, and they've got health. Oh, and they have a place to sell things. Dude, I wonder if I can get 180 bucks. Like, if I sold everything, I probably could. I wouldn't be able to, um, to beat the, uh, the boss if I sold all my guns, but the camera is really shitty in my opinion. How much did I get for it? I was at 61 bucks, now I'm at 82. It's about 20 bucks a gun, so I'm not going to get there through selling guns. Uh, damn. Alright, I guess, yeah, I don't think we're going to pull off getting 180 bucks in this floor. I don't think it's going to happen. One of these red enemies. So I've been told that they do like double damage. I think. Oh, they don't even give you that much cash when they. Do. Whoa! Die. Okay. God damn it. Oh, I'm so close to dead. Why does this room have to be just full of motherfuckers? Oh, that was close. Oh. All right. Well, I've got to spend my cash on hit points. Maybe there's health in here. Nope, just another gun. Oof. That's nerve wracking. Oh, that was the secret door sound. Aha! Oh my god, if I fall, I die. Hang on. Let me let me spend a little bit of cash on on health first, just in case. You gotta believe. All right, we got some more health. We got a bit of armor. We've got this fucking Vulcan cannon. We're gonna grab some more health. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go fight the boss. Oh, this motherfucker. Okay.
Oh, you absolute dickhole. Oh. Oh my god, I was so close to death there. I thought that that was my death animation. The bullet like was hitting me as I got the last hit in. Oof. Oh my god, wow. Laser rifle, blast off, a commonplace energy weapon. Laser rifle is the AK-47 of the future. Known for its low manufacturing costs and lower maintenance requirements, laser rifles used throughout the galaxy by hunters and miscreants alike. Okay, well, it gave me some health and a new gun. Um, no ammo. Interesting. Oh, I forgot the airstrike. Totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's everything that this floor has to offer, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Whew. Yeah, unfortunately, Hooligan, I, I had to turn off the song request because they, they stopped working. They're not auto-playing. And unless uh, I have, like, a moderator who wants to type exclamation mark play after every single song to get it started again. That's that. Oh, this sucks. This fucking firing squad. It's got me up against the wall here. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That was intense. Oh, you know, no, no. Okay. Fuck it. It looks like it does refill. So, that's worth a firing squad, I figure. thing at a time. The little, like, mini-boss gold skeleton dude I figure needs to die first. Oh! I didn't expect the skull to suddenly curve around and hit me like that. Welp. That's that. Now I know. Four keys and 180 bucks is necessary for me to unlock the next, like, elevator thing. All right, I guess I'll save up for some of those things. But there's a lot of NPCs in this hub. I, I wasn't expecting uh, so many characters. All right, so chamber two is the furthest that I have unlocked. Womp womp. These dueling pistol, machine pistol, or nail gun. I have no idea which of these is, like, better. Some guns are absolutely objectively better than others. And I just don't know. Let's try a machine pistol.
just picked up uh, my first sake. I'm gonna drink it on the weekend, but took a sip to see what it's like. Haiku sake. Nice. How how was the sip? What are your what are your thoughts? Maybe I should be going out as the rogue because they uh, they spend less at shops. So maybe that's like the way to uh, save my money. Iron Maiden enemy is, I think, probably the hardest regular enemy in the game, at least that I've come across. Very wine-like, sweet wine-like, pretty interesting. I can dig it. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan personally. Put forth that a knave such as thee could never clean this forthcoming room. Using not with this derringer, if thee can, then we will reward thee handsomely. In return, we shall hast from the eighteen. Is part of the wager. Prevail and I shall return it. Okay, so come back with 18 bucks and she'll... Thanks for the ammo spread. Oh, there was an upgrade in here I didn't even see? Brutal. Shit. What if you could replace wine with this and wine cocktails? There are sake cocktails. That's that's a thing that exists. Not a not a crazy idea. Gunny, 100% organic. This is new. This would be best paired with another spirit for a bit more alcohol. This leafy blaster is made of mahog gunny, a strange wood which will only take root near the gungeon. Weird. Hmm. No secret thing here. As soon as I've got two more bucks, I can take on that wager. put in two guns and get something new. Interesting. Well, if I get to keep the Derringer she gives me, and if it's such a bad gun that it's worth, like, her turning it into a wager for me to even use it, then uh, maybe, that, maybe I'll cycle it. Holy shit! Jesus. Oh, these things really shoved me into a corner. They don't even drop any cash. I came home to my whiskey gun in my chair with an alcohol stain on it. Uh, do, you, do you live with someone that you think drank your, uh, your booze? Oh, they definitely stole it. Oh, that sucks. Man. Sorry to hear that. Make it around the wall. Oh my god. Everything's out of control. This is the worst. Oh my god, even more enemies.
All right, let's go take on this wager. He was Dern talking to in the morning when he wakes up. Yeah, that's brutal. Wonderful, I've marked the room in question on that map. Do make a show of it, eh? Oh, it just like shoots like fucking two bullets and then has to reload. Oh, they do do damage at least. Challenge complete. The Gunsling King. Oh, I thought it was like a princess. Oh, the victor returns. Enter the victor, the spoils. Man Cervantes, prepare a fitting reward for our entertainer and return the 18 bucks. Yes, yes, something for you. Yes, and your money. Magnum. Cool. Enjoy thy bobble, peasant. Huh. Uh, cool. I like that you get to keep your money. Need to beat his ass with the empty whiskey bottle. What a weird weapon. It's really inaccurate. And you know, it shoots a big ass fucking coconut. I think. Sucks. I, uh, I had a roommate in the past, too. Uh, drank my booze, both without asking, and also tried to kind of hide it. It is unfortunate when that sort of thing happens. Okay. So we can go through to the boss room. That's about it, huh? Hey, I found the secret room. It's just ammo, shit. Hammer. It's 30 bucks for anything interesting. I can't sell anything. Damn. All right. Booze is awesome. Yeah, booze is good enough. You sound like boobs. Also sounds awesome. Silly, sweetie. Um, okay, so we have... Oh, we have one key. So we can open one of these treasure chests. Um, thought maybe that little rat would come to steal my stuff. Blooper? Close your bloop? What are all of these fucking weapons? Extremely high knockback. A poor facsimile of the gun that can kill the past. Seeking an alternate route to past modification. Time travelers would use these guns to eliminate their past saves themselves. Oh, I see. It's a looper reference. So the looper and the mahogany. Both things I'm not wild about. Um, is there a... No, yeah, there is, there is. One of those things where I can like put two guns in and, and get one. Maybe I'll do that. Hydrate, you say? Okay, I'll drink to that. Yeah, let's do it. I drank this room temp, but what temp do you think is good for sake? Try warm and cold as well. Yeah, so... Ek blaster? One way that you can do it is by, uh, yeah, heating it up on the stove. Um, 
used by a wiggly hero in the early days of the gungeon. Nice, it's uh, it's Earthworm Jim's weapon. Um, so, uh, you take like a pot of water, uh, fill it so that it's, you know, whatever, fairly full, uh, and then put the pot of water on the stove, uh, just on a low temperature, and then put the bottle of sake into the water, and then it'll, it'll keep the sake's temperature at about the temperature of the pot of water. So that's why you want it on, on fairly low on the stove. And you can just kind of leave it like on the lowest temperature, you know, for like a couple hours, just like pouring yourself a glass of it and putting it back into the pot. Uh, every once in a while you might want to turn it off just so that it doesn't, because even on the lowest heat, it'll, it'll make it fairly warm after, after enough time passes, but that's one way to like, uh, you know, eat sake. Uh, all right, let's fight this boss. Let's see what happens. We'll use Earthworm Jim's weapon. Well, this this weapon really just spams all over the place. Man, I haven't even thought about Earthworm Jim in a long time. Oh, how did that hit me? Uh, I'm legitimately annoyed that, that hit me. I, I I just I don't know. I guess I fucked up, but felt like I was pretty good there. Brutal. So much for the extra health you get from not taking damage. Hegemony rifle. All right, well, I got a shitload of, of weapons and stuff now. Uh, I guess I'll buy a key. think do it little stream raiders action hmm. hard to tell which uh which units were made by um like captains versus which ones were made by uh, stream Raiders themselves. Grab this. Uh, place a Templar is my last, like, daily quest. Um, but that's not really an option. Go. Hundred eighty bucks and four keys. That's such a tall order. My God.
That was pretty easy. I mean, usually once I destroy these things, a bunch of enemies spawn on those little islands. There we go. I can't get to the fucking... There he is. Oh my god. Oh, those are just bullets? Oh! Being on fire sucks. <sighs> that was intense. Oh no, there's a Cthulhu in here. Oh my god, I can't believe I walked into that bullet! I just, I hate minecarts so much. How much of my mental energy has to go into figuring out where to stand in order to stop them? this. Right, I'll wait until I got 10 bucks saved up and then get the big thing there. Alright, what's the rogue do again? Reduces prices, increases how many items you can have. Okay. Blunderbuss, flare gun, or crossbow? Go flare gun. Probably lights enemies on fire, right? I didn't know it would only have one shot. It didn't even occur to me. What the fuck? I have never seen this enemy before. That was new. Do a little DOT. Focus on maneuvering. Oh, damage over time. Right. Yeah, the, I mean, with only one shot, that's really all there is to do. Boy, this gun has to reload a lot more often than the... Uh, the, like soldier that I'm used to. Oh. 
and it, I, I get so frustrated when I'm hit by shots that are just like a little bit too close together to, you know, easily dodge. Holy shit, now one of these Iron Maiden dudes? exactly fire at the center. They're a little bit erratic. Wow. Oh, it looks like that's one of the rooms that has like a sub-boss in it. That kills me almost every single time, so I think I'm just gonna skip it. Does the rat try and take armor if you just leave it? Oh, he does, you little bastard. Alright, I guess I'll just take it then. I'd prefer to leave it and, like, accumulate it, but that's not an option. A sub boss for September? Something like that. Yeah, September's almost over. Each September in the past, I've, I've always turned into, like, a whole event and hyped it up and stuff, but. I don't know, it's not as exciting as when it was half off and... Twitch would, you know... Literally just gave people free subs for September. That was like... the shit. Plus it was sponsored by Subway, and that was a lot of fun. You know, a lot of memes there. I'm getting the shit beat out of me, this is brutal. little six shooter man stressing me out raid incoming <laughs> yo appreciate the uh, five months man mucho gracias <laughs> how's it going dude six, seven everybody ready for this instant speed all is dust I love it. I love it. <laughs> Good. Nice. <laughs> how were the uh, how were the games tonight? Oh shit! Oh, there's an NPC I can save. Okay, well that makes me a lot more interested in like getting to the boss. Shit! I have to fight this sub boss to get to the final boss. Ugh. That stresses me out. Please don't let this un end my run. I really want to... There's a new NPC who might have, like, a shop or something. Yeah, this is the one. This guy has killed me almost every single time I've fought him. Oh, shit! Shit! Fucking hits in a row. Ugh! Three hits. One more and I'm dead. Oh, these guys take several hits! Well, whatever, man. This guy's like three for three for ending my fucking run. Oh, man. That's brutal. I'm gonna head out for the night. Sounds good. Well, have an awesome night, Jeff. Thank you, uh, thank you again for all the, all the support. I really appreciate that. Actually. If you just restart, do a quick restart, then you always have the same access to the same weapons. Um, 
each time you restart, and I don't really want that because the weapons that I have access to aren't very good. So, go back to the breach and then restart, and then we'll have different choices in weapons. Oh, apparently not. Apparently these are just the choices, I guess, maybe until I, like, beat this level or something. Will I, like, advance a floor? Wonderful night, everyone. Yeah, cheers, man. And, uh, and the same to you, of course. Have the most wonderful night. There we go. The soldier will kick some ass. Now we'll beat this game. Somewhere? Ah, oh, they're there. Oof. Well, there's a shop in this, uh, in this dungeon. Gun Knight Greaves. I mean, keys are just kind of always the best thing to buy, I feel. I don't know what Gun Knight Greaves do. Maybe they're good. tough. I feel like you have to play this game more often than I am in order to really get to know all the all the items and, and weapons and shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this is kind of cool. Wow, a lot of health in here. Well, this will be where I come to heal. Four hit points in there. Two full hearts. going on in that room uh so i've got no um got no keys right now i don't think there's a secret door in this room i could definitely buy some keys before i leave this place oh this is a vendor hey you meet me in the breach maybe we can do some wholesaling Laser sight, drum clip, remote bullets. So I'm guessing remote bullets are what they sound like, where I can like detonate my bullets. Drum clip, I'm guessing, increases my clip size. And then laser sight uh, will probably reduce the spread, would be my guess. Another fucking door that I need a key for. Uh, he laughs and spits on you. <laughs> Amazing. Check out what's down that hallway. Nice, another NPC. God damn. 
Now this is a special key that I need to get, usually through a boss fight. Okay. Okay, boss door. Um, do I go through the boss door or do I explore here first? Let's explore here first. This is amazing. Boy, those traps really put in all the work for me. Ooh, almost got me. Dude, what are these? I've never seen this before. I don't know how to dodge it. So fucking brutal. I guess it flashes before it grabs you. Hungry bullets unlocked. Oh, but I didn't gain it. It's just like available in the future. Man, what an annoying way to get hit. Give me some junk. Oh, Jesus, just an explosion. We'll get a key. And I think we'll open this with it. Table, tech, rocket. Oh, that's the thing where when you flip a table, it fucking explodes toward an enemy. Cool. Alright, I guess I'll alternate between the flare gun and the Winchester rifle. For this boss fight. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna die. That really sucks. God. Fucking damn it. Oh my god. I'm getting really stressed out at the fact that I'm making no progress over and over and over. Oh. God, that's stressful. Flare gun's garbage. I'll grab this instead. Oh, this motherfucker. Goodness. 
stress. Stress no good. Bro style it, get pumped. Or let's just give one more chance to win. <laughs> Undoing all my progress every time is uh, frustrating. Especially if you die on the same floor that you started on, because then you've gained literally nothing. No resources, no like extra unlocks, no no anything. Nothing has been gained whatsoever. I'm uh I get, I get stressed when I, uh, when I play really challenging games. That's why I never play games on hard mode, because it's just, I just get too fucking stressed. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. The boss. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just go fight him. Dodge in the same direction as the shot. Fucking dummy. That difficult. <laughs> yeah. Says you, you're good at uh, uh yo, thank you so much for nine months. Baby to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's alright, I know what to do with them now. How you doing, Rachel? What's shaking? What's new? Uh yo, Shinito. Um I am playing with the controller. I use this controller for almost everything. It is actually a, a custom uh, painted controller um, from uh, the machine within. Got uh, got a little um, little little rock emote. Where is it? Down at the bottom here, and uh, and it it has rocks carved into the side and everything. Great. Uh, but yeah, I game with a controller pretty much whenever it's plausible. How is Sonnet? I don't know. Well, just about to crawl into bed, probably. Uh, that does sound like a good time. The Shot Grub. What is this uh, wiggly phallic little gun here? The Infant Shot Grub is typically wielded by an adult Shot Grub, a guardian of bullet hell. It fires bullets in unnerving patterns. Gungeoneers should take care that it not attach to their brain stem. Funky. Alright, so it kind of like wriggles its ammo. Neat. But before we go further, we might as well uh, actually explore this level. Was it a was it a decent cycle or, or is it kind of shitty out today? Oh, she is she's absorbed in her stories. Oh. I think she's watching some Netflix series right now. Ah, fuck me! Get hit up in the dungeon here. Ooh, 
man, these guys only self-destruct when they die sometimes. I thought it was only the blue ones that did it. Oh, never mind, that one didn't. Yeah, so I guess it's just random when they when they blow themselves up. Crazy. Uh, I have one key. I probably don't want to use it on the like most common tier of chests, so I'm just gonna blow this open. <gasps> it's the little junk follower. Oh my god! Now I have to destroy all the treasure chests so I can upgrade them with other junk. Watching historical drama comedy. I didn't know what I would love, though I should have suspected. Yeah, I mean, you like all of those things individually. I was close. I almost uh, dove into the saw. Dodged into it. Oh, your little, uh, your little junk follower, uh, gets knocked aside by the, um, by the traps. Okay, this I'll use a, uh, uh, hang on. Ration calories, mate. What is this? What's the ration do? Provides healing on use. If equipped, it will be used automatically on death. This MRE comes in the form of a dry and dense cookie. It doesn't taste great, but it delivers the calories the body needs. That's interesting. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I will... I'll in my ammo drop and carry the ration. It will hopefully keep me alive even after death. I almost walked into the spike pit because I was glancing over at chat while uh, walking down. Oh no, it's this motherfucker again. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, it's the key, the key to a cell. Yes, the key to one of my friends. Okay. Uh, oh, I haven't even found the person who it opens or unlocks the, the fucking cell of. Cool. Actually, I might as well fill my health up all the way. Let's do it. Let's try and find our last little friend. Oh, and also, let's stream Raiders. I haven't done a uh, Stream Raiders dungeon run in quite some time. That might be worth doing at some point. I don't know. I've kind of fallen out of Stream Raiders. I've noticed, like, my average participants at this point are, like, 10 or 11, as opposed to, like, 40 or so I, I had when I was really uh, streaming more often and doing all the events and stuff. Uh, Damn, we lost that battle. Need to place Templars, eh? Well, my Templars are still on cooldown, so how about a Buster instead? Oh, this motherfucker. This is another one that's kind of rough. The fact that his bullets bounce off of things. 
always takes me by surprise a little bit. Oh my god, a new friend! Who is this? You freed me. Why? Huh. He seems weirdly, uh... I don't know, evil or ominous? The... Green chests. I forget whether they're better or worse than the blue ones. Such a hard time keeping that straight in my mind. Because they're such interchangeable colors, like... Um, I guess I might as well open it. I don't know. Junk is kind of nice to upgrade my junk, dude, but let's see what's in here. Bullet idol. A vengeful spirit. Deals damage to enemies when the bearer is wounded. Whosoever wields this idol will have swift vengeance visited upon any who trespass against them. Deals damage to enemies when I'm wounded. Okay. Okay. I was just gonna get hurt. Uh, it does uh, up my uh, shot grubs um, damage, which is interesting. Hmm. Nope, no secret in here. All right, I think we're finished this floor. Let's do it. doesn't shoot right at me, he shoots kind of around me. Wow, this dude took a ton of shots. I can't believe this made me run into an enemy. Uh, I didn't realize I could leap out. Wow. Alright, so... Stupid fucking... Things. The... Mine carts are like OP for enemies and terrible when I use them. The, just the lose-lose. Dang, dang, dang. Hmm, do I use the key to open this or do I blow it up for junk? Again, I can't remember whether green or blue is better. Shit. I need, like, a little notepad open while I play this game or something. Oh, who's this? Who's this? This is like a fucking person. That was a little wild. I had never seen that guy before. Right. 
Hey, another little island stone. I like the concept of island stones. Uh, just because they're such a, a, a specifically D and D reference. No, ah, oh, fuck. I didn't see the bullet till it was too late. It was like in a big particle effect. Full heart and a key are like the best things this guy's got by far. I'll probably get a full heart, but let's see if I need it first. Oh shit. All of my wares are discounted. Shotgun full of love. Wax wings. A knife shield? What the fuck is a knife shield? Things. Yeah, I have no idea if these things are any good or not. Hmm. I don't know what to spend my cash on. every time. Oh, this motherfucker's getting beefed up. No! No! Oh, wait. Where's the little mage, dude? Oh, maybe my follower killed him. Hard to hit. Uh, okay, so there's just uh, basically two more rooms left. A couple treasure chests. Zero keys. Um, damn, I was kind of hoping for jump there. I mean, a heal is nice. Whoa, there was a weird little lag spike for us in half second there. Snowballer may contain rocks. Okay, so I want to alternate between the shot grub and the regular sidearm, I think. Damn. Fuck, which one's better, green or blue? I should look this up, probably. Oh, it's so annoying. I think the... blue was better. I'm gonna destroy the green one. Yay. Now my knight's got a little helm. Next one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Here we go. It's the boss, finally. Okay. So with 57 bucks, I can, like, get a key and open a chest. Or I could get armor. Or I could get wax wings or a knife shield. Hmm. It's just I don't know what slot wax wings or a knife shield take up. Uh, if they're passives, I'd, I'd love them. I'd buy them in a second, but I just don't know if they are. Ducks. Okay, well, well, we'll get a key, and we'll just see what's in the treasure chest. Bolt 1851. Alright. So, we're going to use a sh shot grub. Against the boss, because this one is powered up by one of the other items that I've got. Let's do it. This might be my last uh, my last attempt tonight. Maybe. What's this boss? I still don't think I've beaten this guy even once. This like shadow thing. Cannonball rod. Got him. Got a bunch of health. We got whatever this is. What the fuck is this? Great. Anvilin? Practical and safe. Fires anvils. A hometown favorite. The anvil has been shown to be the safest and most effective means of dispatching foes with an anvil. Wow, wild. Okay. Well, that exists. Ooh, all right, down another level. Down to level four now. Oh, these bounce off the walls. That's actually kind of sick. Can't believe I got hit there. Rip! Oh shit, it's a displacer beast. Put forth in a nave such as thee could never clear this forthcoming room without dodge rolling. Move the cannon, we will preserve all the handsome. Okay. I won't dodge roll. Fuck it, I'll just take damage. I don't give a fuck anymore. The trick is gonna be remembering that I'm not dodge rolling. Boom, done. Thank you. 
Well, hold. The victor returns. Muscle relaxant. Greatly increases accuracy. Axiologic drugs are favored by long-distance snipers, especially in the cold. They won't get rid of shaking hands entirely, but are more effective than holding your breath. Uh, so that's a Metal Gear Solid reference for sure. That's cool. beat here. I have one hit left. Although these rations apparently will get used after what would be a killing blow. I don't know what's going on there. I didn't, I, I'm not sure quite what hit me. There was shit teleporting everywhere. That was weird. Man, the fact that the uh, the slugs that this shoots bounce off of walls is actually really, really good. Because if you can hit an enemy that's got a wall behind them, they'll, they'll get hit like twice. So at this point, I'm having difficulty telling like what. Ah which things are enemies at this point in some cases and like which are projectiles like, I don't know there's so many particles on the screen in most of these rooms at this point and my bullets going flying just everywhere it's getting uh, getting challenging to figure out what's happening through all the noise green is worse than blue, I think. Yep. the boss room. It'd be nice if I could find the shop before I head down to the boss. Uh, just because I have taken a lot of damage. Thanks for the ammo. Oh, I didn't even know there was ammo in this room.
Whoa! At this point, I'm just trying to look at the minimap before I leave each room to see whether I've left behind any weapons or ammo or items or anything. I don't know what those giant fucking ice sculptures were. The thing is, level four I've been in so seldom that it's... A lot of shit's kind of... Ah! New to me. AK-47. The only item I have on me that's being improved by anything else is the shot grub, so I'm just going to keep using that. And it's like a really good weapon. Boy, I can't wait till I find the fucking shop. Oh, here's a shop. Got like some items and weapons in it. I think this is the last room in the dungeon. It's the shop. Oh, you're still alive. Uh, he's got 30 bucks. For, for 30 bucks, he's got health or Plus one bullets. I'm guessing that makes my bullets literally do more damage. Really fucking tempting. Although I should probably grab like two HP, but like... Yeah, we're about to do a boss. All right. Got two HP. Responsible fucking adult. And then, uh... Level four boss. Here we go. Never seen this before. I've never seen this boss. <laughs> First of the order. High priest. Whoa! Oh, there's like a bunch of other enemies when you first show up here. Oh my god, dude! All of these attacks are new. Man, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Alright, I have to not get hit a single additional time. He just homed in on me super fast. Yeah, so much for not getting hit another time. Killed by the High Priest. Yeah, that was an interesting enemy. Jesus. Oh, well, I've rescued a new NPC. I wonder if they have a home down here. I had to kill 44 of those. I had to kill 50 like a long time ago. He says bye if you fall down the fucking. Alright, well, 10 bucks for his thing. Oh, he just says bye if you leave in general. Yeah, I'm gonna save up the 10 bucks for that dude's wares. Amusement is a prime currency when thee liveth eternally in a gun filled dungeon. That's kind of cool. I like the idea that there's, like, 
just a character who will give you extra challenges, like as an NPC. I'm uncertain as to my purpose here. anybody wants to uh join me on a raid i think uh i think that's where we're at just like wind the stream down call it a night um i am starting to uh to feel the the tension the tension and the stress of of fucking taking taking cracks at this over and over uh, but let us go and raid, um, raid someone fun. Uh, Michael Grab is playing, uh, Jump King right now. And he's a super fun dude. I have a lot of fun in his streams. We're going to be probably, uh, doing a little special something, a little special co-stream in the f near future. Chess is the best board game. All right. I mean, I could see that. That's hard to argue against. Um, if anybody wants to copy paste a raid message, go uh, go bombing into um, Michael's stream with a big old rocks raid. Bury him in an avalanche. Um, let's head over there. I'll probably do a couple more stream raiders battles tonight. I'm gonna work on a couple things before I go to bed. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you everybody for for the hangs. I really appreciate the raids, the uh, the resubs, the follows, the gift subs. Um I had fun tonight, you know, despite the fact that I'm all I'm all fucking tense. <laughs> Yo, thank you uh, Rachel. I really appreciate that. Big uh big love from over here. I will see you uh hopefully very soon. Sleep well, y'all. Sleep well, stay hydrated, and uh, say hi to Michael for me. Stick around a bit, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll all probably dig him. I have a lot of fun over there. Uh, I will catch you probably tomorrow night.